What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365Geek, and today we're talking about Power Automate and Planner, and we're going to look at the Update a Task V2 Preview. So if you watched my last video on Update a Task, V2 Preview is a new action for um, Power Automate and for Planner. This is going to be the successor to Update a Task, so it's interesting to take a look at it today and see what's there and what the differences are between that one and the previous uh, update a task action. So let's take a look at it. So I'm in Power Automate here and I've got a manual trigger flow. If I click on new step and then in the search bar if I type planner I can choose the planner connection and then scroll down until I see update a task v2 preview. This is going to ask me for five things. It's going to ask me for a task ID uh, and then I can update the title update the due date, update the start date, update the percentage complete. So the task ID, um, this is giving me access to the task that I have access to. So uh, test task, uh, test flow task is the one round to choose. But it's not asking me for environment, it's not asking me for my planner group or my plan, it's not asking me for my Office 365 group. So it's literally going to look at all the tasks that I have access to and then it's going to um, give me the task IDs from there. Next, uh, I can update the title, so I can change test task, test flow task to something like uh, power automate uh, automate task. Next, I can update the due date or the start date. Uh, I'm going to leave those uh, for now, uh, but I can also update the percentage. So I can update this and I can say, do you know what, I'm 70% of the way through. Now, before I click anything, I'm going to flick over to Planner and show you that task. So I go over to Planner. I've got this one here, this test flow task. If I open it up, you can see um, it's got a start date, it's got a due date, it's called test flow task, and it says it's in progress. Now, one thing you'll notice is that there's no percentage on here. So it's not, it doesn't show me a percentage, and that's important, and we'll come back to that. If I close this down and go back to my flow, I can click on, I'll click on save because I'm having a couple of issues with Power Automate today. And then I'll click on test. Uh, I'll perform the trigger action, save and test, run the flow, click done. Flow runs successfully. Uh, and now the task, uh, the task is called Power Automate task. So if I go back to Power Automate, uh, to Planner, um, if I, I might need to refresh this page. And uh, go back to my grouping. There we can see it's updated to Power Automate Task. Uh, and in the progress, it still just says in progress. It doesn't have any percentage broke down, and there's no percentages in here. Um, there's I can't really find any details in here at all about the percentage completed. So instead of that, we're going to go back to Power Automate. And you can see that it says percentage complete there. So percentage complete is actually, I think, a hidden field. It might be something that um, the planner team plan to bring in in the future, but it's not currently there, or maybe something that was there in the past. Um, but with the fact that this uh, this allows you to update percentage completed and not, um, you know, your your status of like started in progress or not started or complete. Um, I think this is something for the future. So if I go back to um, my new step and type in planner and then go to do, 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 list my tasks, that's what I want. What this is going to do is this is going to list the tasks that are assigned to me. So I know that this task is assigned to me and therefore it will come out when I do this. So if I click on test, I'll perform the trigger action, run the flow, click done, and there we go. So this one is updated to 70%, that's all good. So if I go back to list my tasks, I now get this JSON body and this first one here is Power Automate Task. This is the one we're looking at and we can see that it has a field for percent completed. So this is actually really handy because 
if I do this and if I list tasks in a in a in a plan or I list my tasks, etc., I can actually see um, how how much of the way through something I am uh, based on you know whatever criteria I have for that. So in terms of reporting, using Power Automate to actually generate reports like this might be quite useful. So what I could do is I could uh, import this into like a HTML table um, or embed this into a, a table in an email sort of thing and send that out to me or relevant people in my projects um, to say you know this task we are 70% of the way through, this task with 30% of the way through, and people can kind of see that from, from us updating it like this. So it's really interesting. I think percentage complete might be something coming in the future, um, or maybe something that was there in the past and I'm just not aware of it. But um, the fact that it's in the V2 preview um, or for updating the task and not in the deprecated one means uh, for me, I think this is something that might potentially be something we can use in the future. Now, I did say at the start that I was going to compare the two. So, we're going to expand updated task and we're going to go and find the other task. So, compare the two. So, updated task, you have task ID, it's the same. Title, due date, start date, all the same. Progress is a thing that's not the same. So progress is not started, in progress, completed, which matches what is currently in Planner in terms of not started, in progress, completed, um, but not in the V2 preview that has percentage completed. You'll also note that add assigned users and remove assigned users are both not in the new um, the new action. So I mentioned this in a previous video, I think the reason these two aren't in here is because there are now separate tasks that literally just do that one action, which means it's a little bit more lightweight than updating the entire task. You can just specify an action to just update and, and um, add or remove users from a task. So I think it's really interesting that they're trying to be a bit more lightweight with this um, and try and be a, bit a light touch is what I'm trying to see from this. And I also do like this, this interesting dynamic between the progress versus percent complete. Um, if anyone knows why the new one has percent complete and why the old one has progress and there's no percent complete in planner, I would like to know. So if you drop that into the comments, uh, I'd really appreciate that or hit me up on Twitter um, at D365Geek um, uh, and let me know because I'm always, always learning and always loving to learn, love, learn, love and learn new stuff. So yeah, I like that. But yeah, I hope this was useful. Um, as I said, going forward, you should probably use the updated task V2 preview. Um, this updated task will be deprecated at some point. So um, it's probably recommended you move over to this. Uh, I try to not move over to these uh, to preview actions too often before they're generally available. Uh, but when they're generally available, they are the ones to switch to and remove the old. Um, the old actions uh, as soon as you can, uh, but it's always good to test and, and to use these and see what is new and what's what's coming and what changes you might need to make to your flows. So yeah, I hope this video was useful. Uh, if you did like it, if you could drop a like on the video or um, share this with a friend, it would be much appreciated. It really helps me grow this channel. If you've not already, hit that subscribe button on my YouTube channel to get all my latest videos, and I'll see you next time.